Hello traders, I'm Juan Maldonado, Elliott Wave Street founder. It's a pleasure to have you here in this intro to the Elliott Wave theory. It's a pleasure to share the way I use the Elliott Wave theory. If you are completely new to, to this theory, I'm going to show you how to use it. I'm going to show you the way I apply uh, the Elliott Waves. And this video is going to change forever the way you see the markets. So please uh, pay attention here and uh, follow all the tips that I'm going to give you and all the things that I'm going to tell you about this fantastic technical analysis tool. I have been trading professionally for over 10 years so far. Wow, time passed so fast. And when I started to learn the Elliott Wave Theory, it was a nightmare for me. It's, it was really complex. I read the Practor book, I practice a lot, and all my wave counts were a disaster at that time. So when I was thinking the market was going in one direction, it went to the other. I was trying to trade the waves unsuccessfully, but I didn't give up. I actually put more efforts into mastering this technique and i found some fantastic things fantastic tips if you are new to the Elliott wave theory or if you already have some experience and you don't know how to master properly the theory this video is for you and the whole Elliott wave street program is for you so welcome i know you are excited i'm excited too let's start talking about the waves here we have on this uh, first slide the um, basics of the Elliott Wave Theory. Uh, they are used since the 1900. The name on, the, on that time was different because it's the, the Dow Theory, where uh, Charles Dow wrote some articles for his own newspaper, the, the Wall Street Journal. Uh, he also is the father of uh, technical analysis in uh, the side of the world because uh, he wrote some tenants that are very important that we still use them and the Elliott Wave theory is based on those uh, on those principles that Charles Dow in the 1900s wrote so uh, it's something that is not new the Elliott Wave theory clearly is something that has been here for a while and it it serves to identify the price patterns in the past and forecast or predict the future. That's the plan. And of course, knowing that the roadmap, we take decisions. And don't worry, this is the boring part. I'm going to show you some cool stuff later in the presentation, but this is very important that you have a general idea of how this works. So mainly the Elliott Wave theory says that we are going to have an impulse uh, that usually is, 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 is a five wave sequence like uh, this one over here, right? That we have a one, two, three, four, five that is called an impulse. And we are going to have a retrace that is going to be an ABC, or there are more complex corrective waves. You know, if you have been following the charts, you already know that sometimes we have, for example, a move and then we have a consolidation. That consolidation could be sideways or it can be sharp, right? So that's the the job of the Elliott Wave expert to find which uh, pattern is and to find the end of the pattern. But this is key, you know, you, you need to know that we are going to, to look for an impulse or, or, or a retrace. That's the key part. And then we use Fibonacci to target, to have targets. And we also use support and resistance and we can combine the Elliott Wave theory with anything you already know, a moving average crossover system. Um, order flow, or if you are using price action, if you don't like indicators, also this is for you. Uh, for all kind of traders and for all type of strategies, the Elliott Wave Theory is going to be a great addition because it's going to give you an additional point of view of the markets. Of course, this thing is not going to work alone. We need to combine it with some other things. I'm going to explain that later in this presentation. But it's important that you understand that part where we are not going to to have this as the holy grail that is going to solve all our problems, but actually is going to solve most of them. 
All right. So there are two ways that you can approach the Elliott wave theory. You can learn everything, the theory, you can uh, practice and you can master the Elliott wave theory and you can start doing your own wave counts. It takes time. It's a tool that uh, I do it manually. I don't have any indicator that uh, to use to to have the wave count um, done by, a, by, but I, by, by an algorithm or something like that. No, I actually do my wave counts manually every day. So it requires time. So some traders uh, don't want to go through all this process of learning the theory. And that's why here on the Elliott Wave Street website, we have a membership where I share with you my live market analysis every day. So there are like two types of users. Uh, one user is, is the one that wants just to see the result. Like, what, okay, tell me if I should buy or sell. And uh, there is other type of user that is learning. So for both, uh, seeing this thing in the live market is key. When I was learning, I didn't find like a good mentor to, to teach me how to do, use this thing on the live markets, you know, because we can learn the rules, the guidelines, they are everywhere. But then the issue is to apply those guidelines and rules in the blank chart, you know, to start from scratch. So on Elliott Wave Street, we offer the membership to where you can see the live markets. And we also have a fantastic course that teach you from um, the beginning, from the basics, how to do the things. All right. So let's continue with our webinar here. So, so we have the, the patterns. And if you are wondering why the market moves like that, is because the markets are fractal and that means that we are going to have patterns inside patterns you know like a tree or like the waves in the ocean they they have tides they have waves they have ripples so uh, that fractal theory it's pretty interesting because actually it comes from everything in our world, including our brains, our neurons are fractal. So one way to measure uh, the, the human thinking is by Elliott wave, not only in the markets, there, there are also other applications. But in Elliott wave, the charts are going to move like that, because uh, our brains are in this built in the same uh, shape, let's call it like that, or a fractal, and or the algorithms that we create, they are also fractal because we are creating them with our ideas, right? So that's why Elliott Wave Theory help us to read and to label and to plan and to understand the price action of the human uh, psychology, mass psychology. So that's why it works. It's really important to understand why it works. And now we can see that our mission, mainly on the, under the Elliott wave theory, is that when you are in a wave, let's say you are in the wave one in the, le in the live market, and you want to know where this wave two is going to finish, or if it's going to be a wave two, because when you are there in the live market, the market can continue going down and that will cause an Elliott wave invalidation or the market can go up and make an Elliott wave validation. So mainly here, when you understand the theory like that and you stop there, you're going to say, okay, this doesn't work at all because it's too subjective because it could go up or down, right? But that's where I have been working for all these years finding the validation, you know, the confirmation, uh, first of all, that that's a corrective, and secondly, that that's uh, the end of the wave. So validation is key. So let's say that I provide you with a wave count, or you take my course and you learn how to do it yourself, whatever, and I'm saying, okay, here we are in the wave two in the S&P, or in Apple, or in the Euro, or in a crypto or any instrument that you like to trade. It doesn't matter, right? This, this thing works for all the instruments, for all the time frames. So, so it doesn't matter. So let's say I'm, I'm, I'm in the live market right there, finding the end of the wave two. So 
then is when you start looking for the validation. So it could be the breakout of the trend line, for example. That could be a nice validation. Or it could be your harmonic patterns, or it could be your price action patterns, or it could be candlestick patterns, or it could be a moving average crossover, or, or the breakout of a moving average, whatever you like to use, uh, in addition with the Elliott Wave Theory, is going to create a powerful thing. So there, um, when once I have a validation, I start following the waves. I like I am a trend trader. I like to follow the trend. Sometimes I go against the trend, but most of my trades are are with the trend. And then I follow the market. So I'm going to show you some examples. So mainly uh, the first step when you are new to the Elliott Wave Theory is to start looking where you are uh, from the weekly, monthly chart. Then you go to lower time frames. You can even go to the one minute chart and, and uh, do the wave counting inside. And then the next step is that once you find a wave, once you think, okay, this is a wave two, this is a wave three, whatever, uh, I want to trade in this direction, you apply the validation. Traders that use the Elliott wave alone with any validation, without any validation, they are going to uh, finish losing a lot of money and saying that the Elliott wave theory is too subjective and that we, that we can't make money and that the Elliott wave is not going to work. All those comments are from people that, of course, didn't master the technique and that didn't make this thing to work. So th there are uh, five Elliott wave structures that you need to remember. The first one is the impulse. The second one is the diagonal wave. A diagonal wave is when we have the price moving inside the wave one uh, without moving below the, the end of wave two. This usually happens when you are at the beginning. That will be like a wave one or at the end, like at the, in the wave five of the pattern. And uh, the next pattern is the zigzag. These two are the only ones in the direction of the trend. Then we have all the corrective waves, the zigzag, the flat and when it's sideways and the triangle. So actually, those are the five basic uh, Elliott wave patterns that you need to look for in your charts. And then you start connecting them. It's like a big puzzle. It's a fantastic thing to do. I enjoy a lot doing this thing. I have been publishing my uh, daily market reports for my clients for 10 years. And uh, this is... Um, uh, fantastic. I enjoy it every day, every morning when I'm doing my wave counts. Uh, and, and I also tape a daily video to show my clients uh, what I'm doing uh, and, and to show the strategies and everything. I enjoy this thing every day. For me, it's so fantastic. And that's another reason uh, to, to teach, you know, because trading is a, lo a lonely world and uh, you can trade and uh, you can just uh, focus on your trades but for me i needed more you know and that's why i start teaching and it has been a fantastic experience i love to teach i, I really enjoy uh, seeing the success on, on on the traders that i teach so it's a, a great thing that i like to do as well and i really enjoy a lot <laughs> but but i like to teach in the life markets you know because for me it's important to ch show the students how to use this thing in the real life, how to use the wave counts in the, in the charts. Uh, I also share my trades before they happened. I, I have a Telegram channel for my members where I share all my trades and um, every day I teach new things on the, on the videos. All right, so those are the, the basic structures. Now I want to show you some real, uh, case, real examples. Of course, you are, you are seeing this thing recorded and if you want to, th to see the th these things live in the live markets, you need to take my membership on the Elliott Wave Street, or, or, or you can take also my course that comes with two months of the most complete membership if you want to learn from scratch. But in this presentation, I'm going to show you something that already happened because, um, because this is not a live market analysis presentation. All right, so let's, let me show you. This is a chart that I take from my members area, where that day, uh, this is the pound dollar, and I have a wave counts on the individual stocks as well, or indices like the S&P, and also oil, uh, natural gas, silver, a lot of instruments that I offer. So this is just a, a Forex pair, but 
Uh, I also also I want to tell you that I have wave counts on almost all the markets. So here I was finding the end of the wave two, and I went long. So in the Telegram channel, I posted my trade. I went long with a small stop loss. My stop loss is around 30 pips. It's pretty small. And the price then, look what happened after that. So here, this red circle is where we were on the previous chart. And that's the, the buy trade, and that's the, the, the direction. So look, when we are in this kind of a scenario, and don't worry about all these labels, if you want to learn, I will be more than happy to teach you if you take my course. Uh, I can teach you from scratch how to do all these labels. And here, uh, for example, I was looking for the end of the wave two. So one way to validate the end of the wave two was with a simple trend line, for example. And at the market reversal, I went long. I bought the the the, the pattern, looking for for the wave three, and then uh, I leave the stop loss once I trigger the trade a little bit lower. Again, I I, I like to use a twenty pip, thirty pip stop loss, or 20, 30 points. Uh, for me, that's more than enough. And on this trade, it was very interesting because look what I did. I bought the pound right there at the reversal so we can add a trend line once it breaks out so we can buy it there for example right we can go to lower time frames we can do a lot of things once we have the wave count so in this particular case we were getting closer to the friday i don't like to keep my trades open during the weekend so i saw the on, on the daily videos i said okay i want to buy the pound right here and I want to target the the previous high. That's like my first target around the 127.65. And I take my profits right there. You know, I was there watching the chart and I, I closed my trade right there. Because we were getting closer to the weekend. Because um, for me, it was a, a good profit for the week. Everything was a, was a really nice trade. All right. So I said, okay, that's fine. But my wave count was telling that the market was likely to continue higher. But that was my personal choice. And of course, this kind of thing is what I show you every day on the daily videos. I tell you, this is what I'm doing. This is what I did. Or I did this mistake. Or I did this fantastic thing. Whatever. Because I want to guide you. My traits that I share with you are not going to be like that specific. That you have to do this, this, and this. And take out here your trade. I give you the entry. I give you the stop loss, and then I let you manage the trade. So this is the way I, I did it. Uh, it was actually a big profit for me. Of course, it was going to be bigger in case that I leave the trade open. But I got some emails from my members saying, Oh, really? Did you close your trade there? Come on. But the wave count was telling that we were going higher. I keep my trade open and make more, whatever, right? So that's the beauty of this thing, because with the same wave count, we can do a lot of things. And I'm, I like to be completely honest about the traits that I take, about the, the, the way I do it, because I think it's important, you know, to have an honest um, mentor uh, that comes with the true and tell you exactly what what is doing. And trading in the live market is fantastic. So. Look, that's the, the plan. We use the validations and we jump into the waves. Now let's have a look at another example. This one is on Facebook. So I was telling my clients that on Facebook, I was looking for a wave three pretty strong to the upside. The wave three usually is strong. I always start looking to the left to see some targets where we can take partial profits, where we can move our loss to the break even, when, where we can do some things. Um, and in this case, if you see this report in the morning, then you are going to apply your strategies. So you're going to say, okay, uh, if this is likely to be the end of the wave two, then I'm going to use, for example, this one to three pattern, and I'm going to buy it here. Or if you like to trade with a moving average system, uh, you can say, I'm going to buy once the price crosses at the other side. Or if you like to use just a, a trend line, for example, you can go here. And you will say, okay, I'm going to buy at the breakout of the trend line. Or if you're using harmonic patterns, anything, anything that you want to apply uh, along with the wave count to validate. So let's say you trigger the trade there. 
uh, we can leave a protective stop loss uh, below the wave two or below this low. That's something that we can take the decision. If we take it, uh, we, we place the stop loss below the wave two uh, blue and the price makes a lower low and then reverse again, we can re-enter. If we leave a higher stop loss in terms of points below this low, then is, the price is not going to take us out and then um, it's going to move higher. Or if it take us out, then it wasn't a, the plan, right? So always looking for the uh, protecting our money to have a proper money management of the trade. That's key, I think, that for any strategy that you use money management and a strong mind is key to be successful in this business. All right, so that was the entry and look what happened. Beautiful thing, right? Of course, not all the wave counts are going to work like that. Um, but the ones that validate are really, really, really good. And that's the key. So I have to tell you something. Actually, my wave counts perform better than my trading because I'm too conservative. For example, with this trade, I, I take usually profits at, at the high, right? Or uh, that um, that resistance that we were seeing here, the 246 on this chart, right? So I can take some partial profits here, and then I take other partial profits here. So I'm very conservative with my profits, right? So sometimes I missed bigger moves because I like to... To, to be careful with my money. And, um, and I make enough money and everything, but I, sometimes I think that I can make more if I'm more aggressive, like letting the, the trades run for longer, right? Something that, that I'm in the, also in the process because we improve every day. That's the truth, right? Let me show you another example. This is oil, the weekly chart, the, the monthly chart, actually. I post the weekly and the monthly charts every Monday for my members, like the big picture, so you can have like all the perspectives. And look, uh, here we have uh, the oil doing a corrective wave. Don't worry about the labels. Again, if you want to learn all these labels, uh, why I do this label like this or the other, whatever, you can take my course where I'm going to teach you from scratch how to do it. But look, this is the the chart that I post for my members on the time. And on the time, it was like crazy to think the oil was going to, to go here. That was my target. Uh, at the 30 area, a little bit lower than the 30 area. On the, on the videos, I said, you know, I'm thinking that oil actually can go to the 20 area. That was like my long-term perspective. And at that time, I received some, some, some emails from, from my clients saying, hey, this is crazy, you know, doesn't have any sense. Oil is going up. We, we are going here to the 100 area. We, we, are, going, we are going higher. That, that was like the fundamentals on the time at, at the beginning of the year, right? But I just stick to my plan. Sometimes, you know, I, I see the wave cones and I, I, without thinking about fundamentals, without thinking about news, without thinking about anything, I see the chart and practicing all these years, the wave can say, say, we are going in this direction. And when you check my monthly, my weekly charts, they are very, very powerful because I don't change them. I, I use the same wave cans, you know, it's pretty weird for me to, to make an adjustment on a weekly or, or the monthly. I, I do more on the lower time frames because the noise is, is, more, um, is more complex. But look, here we have that a uh, projection. I plan it, everything. And this is the weekly chart from that same report. I take this one from my website. I, it's a report that I post on that date for my members. And, and I was saying, we are going, we are going to break it. We're going to this low. And then look at this thing. Wow. <laughs> so let's go back. We were here, right? Let's go back to the result. We are here. Most of the weekly, monthly forecasts work like that. Also the daily, of course. The, the daily reports are very good as well. So this is great, you know. Mastering Elliott Waves is fantastic. But again, you need to have patience. 
you have to wait for the validations you have to understand what you are doing you you, you have to uh, have a good mentor if you want to master this thing is is key to have a mentor that can teach you in the live market right and actually on oil we went to almost the 10 dollar area and on the futures uh we went uh, below zero we went to mi minus 40 wow then the prices started to bounce and everything but look at this forecast you know it doesn't matter if it goes to 10 when when, when you trigger at a uh, 55 and you target 30 as i was doing because i'm conservative or or this low over here right i didn't know that the, this thing was going to go to the 10 area lower i didn't have a clue i knew that we were in a corrective wave and the price needed to make a move down here again at least all right that was my high probability scenario of course with the yellow wave theory i'm not going to be able to tell you well the price is going here to the 10 point or whatever and then it's going to bounce up and then it's going to bounce down and of course it doesn't makes any sense you know it doesn't exist such thing and all these wave counts are the the wave counts that, that i do every day i do the wave counts i do the video i explain everything everything we do inside the um, uh, the members area you are going to be amazed of all the things that you are going to see let me show you another example this is gold and this is an old chart it doesn't have any watermark or anything because at that time i didn't use to apply the watermark uh so this was taken from the members area on the on, on 2017 on on gold and i was trying to to find the chart before because when i when i started the memberships uh it was around this area when, when we were in this triangle so it's it was a similar case with oil I didn't have at that time all the experience that I have today, but I this was my wave count from the time. I, I I really tried to search everywhere in my in my website in my files to find this chart, but I couldn't find it because I moved a, I moved to a new server like around 2015, and I lost some of my charts that I post for my members before, and I don't like to do like a back test. I rewind the price there to show something you know i i like to share to show the real chart so i take this one I, I was able to record this one but anyway that was my forecast like this triangle that you see there right there was my forecast and i was looking for a leg down and this report this monthly report um was to to have the price on gold coming up here to the 1900 or the 2000 area actually i was expecting at the time something higher but at the time like i didn't care you know if we were here or here whatever like that kind of that level of precision please don't ask me for that like don't ask me that ask ask me okay so we're going to the 2000 and then we're of course not right that doesn't have any sense but that that was my general plan and and in this particular case again i received some emails from clients saying hey you are crazy gold is going down we're going uh, to see gold at the 400 area and i said no but the wave counts are telling something different so i have to stick to my plan right and look what happened next we we have you already know that what happened right L look at this thing this is the now the report taking um uh from from uh current price action and look where we are and i think we're going higher so this is so fantastic because as you can see the wave counts of course are not going to be a standalone solution or that magic formula that every trader wants to find in a book or in a course that you learn it and you're going to make uh, tons of millions because you learn how to use a a tool of course not but on elliot wave street you are going to have a real mentor you are going to have me if you want to take my course or if you just want to take the membership to receive the daily forecast um you, you of course are welcome and you are going to to have me there to give you guidance in the live markets and if you want to learn the the my strategies i share everything my strategies if you want to learn this thing from scratch you can join the course so now i want you to visit uh, elliotwavestreet.com this fantastic website 
where you are going to find the membership and you are going to find the education tabs under the membership tab you can find more about the daily service the membership if you are a forex trader or if you are a stocks trader or if you want everything the forex comes with futures and indices and, and indices you know the s p the dollar index right here all these futures the stocks also comes with that report but also with the individual stocks and the forex comes with these ones plus the, the futures and if you want everything you can opt to take the full access so you are going to have the daily reports here are the time frames uh, where you're going to see the charts from the daily the four hour the hourly the big picture report the daily videos um the, the the forex and future swing trade ideas where i share with you my my trade ideas so you can take the trial and um, you are going to have immediate access to the platform now if you want to learn the the the, the course you know from scratch visit the education tab where you are going to find all the details about my training this training is something fantastic trust me here you are going to find 10 years of experience in a course and you are going to see how to label the waves you are going to learn how to to label them you're going to learn how to validate them so watch this this page where i also added a detailed case of a study of a trade an actual trade all the trades that i show are real and you if you take the membership you're going to see that every day and here you are going to see the um, the, the the example of a 200 pip trade and everything so i invite you to go there and read this a uh, letter it's re really really cool you will find everything about the course here all right traders so thank you very much uh for listening and watching this this video i'm sure now you are going to have a different perspective about the markets and about the uh, the Elliott wave uh, theory it's something fantastic that trust me is going to change the way you see the markets forever once you learn the Elliott wave theory you are going to use it every day in your trading you are going to improve your entries you are going to start making some good money so if you have any questions please contact us we can have a zoom meeting if you like or skype call whatever you want or we can talk through the whatsapp here are, are my details my contact details if you have more questions you just send me an email and we can schedule a zoom call where we can share screens and everything and i can show you all the all these things inside and solve all your questions or just send me an email whatever you prefer thank you very much have a fantastic trading session make some good money and i'll see you here inside the elliot wave street take care bye bye